A lot of kids want the newest and coolest Halloween costumes, of course, but parents know they can be expensive. Sarah Sinek of Scholastic Magazine is here to show us how to get a great costume at a low price. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for bringing all these sure. costumes. Before we get to them, the idea behind them is that you take inexpensive store-bought things, combine them with things you have at home yep. or that you can easily make at home, and voila, you have a yeah, costume. The editors at Scholastic Parent and Child Magazine had so much fun putting this together. They twitted with all their, their readers and came up with costumes that were semi-homemade. So you can find things in your closet, you can find them at discount retailers, or even, you know, at in the uh, art supply stores. So, so you really just go art supply store or buy things like wigs and fangs? Yep, and you can personalize it and individualize it. And what's fun is that you can do it together with your children. Right. So it's like a fun activity. So you can dress up and make your own costumes. Okay, w without further uh -huh. ado, let's yes. bring out the first one. This is Edwina and Isabel so here as we have... Bella and Alice from Twilight. Yeah, so the uh, vampire books have been <laughs> hugely successful in the Scholastic Book Fairs and Book Clubs. And as you can see, thanks to Twilight, um, from Stephanie Myers. So here we have Bella and Alice, some of the uh, main stars from the Twilight series. And what's great is they're wearing their own clothes. So a lot of these clothes we just found in their own closets, jeans and sneakers. And you can see with Alice here, we have fun wigs on both of them. Right. And um, Alice just has her mom's big sweater coat on and um, a fun wig and some great makeup. Check that out. So all you really had to buy was the wig. Can yeah, I just do like, something? This is about $15 each you're, for the you're wig. You're scaring me a little bit. Can you just give me one smile, please? You're... Thank you. I was spooked. Thank you so much. And of so course, much. you can always add a little fang to the costume just to put a little extra bite into it. All right. Thanks, guys. Very, very <laughs> nice. And wonderful acting. Number two, this is from a movie that just came out where the wild things are. This is Daniel as Max. This oh. is Max. And what we love about this costume, it's obviously a character based on a book. And um, he's just wearing an oversized sweatsuit from Old Navy. Um, probably have one in your closet. And um, the hat's $5 from Old Navy. And then we just got some fun little felt accessories from this art supply store that we added on. And he's got a cute little where the wild things are stuff to have with him. And the oh. bow is also $5 from an art supply store. How so easy cheap. was that? About $20. Thanks, Daniel. Cute Thanks, costume. Daniel. All right, Matthew and Morgan, come on out. They are the astronaut and the alien. So with the 40th anniversary of us landing on the moon, we thought this is a very popular and appropriate costume duo. Yeah, I see in the stores, I see a lot of space costumes. Yeah. They're hot this year. They're always hot, but especially this year with the 40th anniversary. And here, this is perfect because it could be a fun for a brother and sister duo. And Matthew here is, this is a store-bought costume that we got online, um, really inexpensive. And the jacket we found at a vintage store. And he's got dad's watch and dad's gloves on, and then he's all set. And Morgan, Morgan, look how cute you look. I love like this costume. You're like the best alien ever. Do you like it? <laughs> And yeah, she's wearing a hat, a hat and gloves that she found at home and um, leggings and a, and a turtleneck. You can just get a bright color, any color that you have at home. Boots are from Old Navy, $20. And you just stick on the little application, What we love about right? those, those are from the um, art supply store. You can get them at Walmart and they're pretty sticky. So all you do, have to do is cut them and stick them on. You don't have to use any glue or anything. Adorable. So definitely a fan of those. I don't know if Matthew's going to give back Dad's watch, though. <laughs> I know. Right? You kind of want to keep it. And I think he's keeping the jacket. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Nia is Princess Tiana from The Princess and the Frog. Oh, hello, your highness. Princess and the Frog is a new movie coming out from Disney this Thanksgiving, so very popular. Princess costumes are always, always a hit, little girls this time you could just add a frog if you want, and then you have a new costume. And this is a, another store-bought costume we got at Target. Uh, really inexpensive, and we threw on some fun accessories to personalize it. So Nia, had, we made the wand and got some jewels to stick on it. We got those at a party store, which matched the tiara. Mm -hmm. And um, she's got her own other clothes on underneath. Easy. And then we went into mom's closet and got a shawl and just oh. threw that over because it's a little chilly out. Love it. Thank Nia's you. just sparkling and ready to go. Thanks, princess. Very nice. <laughs> okay, I love them all, but this may be my favorite. This is the our The iPod favorite. and the iPhone. Andrew and Emily, father and daughter. Can we get a collective, aww. Oh. <laughs> and this is the easiest costume to make. You, we got, we, all you need is two pieces of foam core for each of them, we cut them, <laughs> and then we actually printed out applications from a Kinko's or Staples That's to make it. the applications, and we blew them up and just stuck them on. Oh, how cute. How old is Emily? She's three. Hi, she's Emily. so cute. I love your iPod costume. And she's got a doggy on her iPod <gasps> shuffle. So we can listen to you everywhere we go. Thank you, guys. Happy Halloween. Happy trick-or-treating. Thank you, Sarah. This is sure. really good stuff. And we're going to help you find all of these ideas on our website. It's earlyshow.cbsnews.com. Sarah Sinek, appreciate you being here. Sure, thanks for having me. You're